D, wait for it. Light bulb. Check out the name tag. You're in my world now, Grandma. What's up, nerds? And have I got a story for you. Now, also down below, you can find the articles that I read to bring you this video. And you can watch them and, you know, I mean, watch them. You can read them or, you know, uh, just watch this video uh, where I will read them to you. <laughs> and uh, we'll discuss that stuff and everything. Um, before I get started, I just want to say that if you like what I do here and you enjoy independent content here on YouTube, please consider subscribing to my channel. YouTube is always changing up their algorithm and small channels like mine keep put, getting pushed to the back of the line. So I please ask that you like, share, and subscribe. And I thank you in advance. I even think I'd been like shadow banned or whatever right now. I tried to look for myself on somebody else's phone and it was it was like, I was like, eh, whatever. But let me know if you have any difficulties in all that stuff. All right. So now why don't we go ahead and get started? This also comes from Deadline, my favorite. I love Deadline. It's such a good uh, uh, trade. Anyways, so it says Joker Folly uh, de du. I don't know how to say that. Folly du adds industries Harry Latte. I think that's how you say his name. If it's not, don't get all pissy with me. So that's him right there. Very attractive. These young actors, they're so good looking. Anyway, so it says Harry Latte Industry. I've never seen Industry, so I don't know. I, I don't, if this kid has been in anything, I have not seen it. And if I have seen him in anything, I don't remember him in it. So, and I'm not taking away from anything. I'm just saying I don't know him or his work. So it says, has signed on to star alongside Joaquin Phoenix, Lady Gaga, and more in Todd Phillips' anticipated Joker sequel, Joker, Folle de, uh, Folle et Du. I'm sorry, if I get that wrong, too, I don't care. Uh, the actor will be part of an ensemble that includes the previously announced Brendan Gleeson, Catherine uh, Keener, and original Joker cast member uh, Zazie Beetz. I love Zazie Beetz. She's so great. Uh, let's see. While plot details for Warner Brothers, and I'll talk about the plot a little bit, for Warner Brothers and DC Films' upcoming comic book pick have been kept under wraps, Joaqu uh, Phoenix will reprise his role as Arthur Fleck with Gaga as Harley Quinn, the Arkham Asylum shrink who falls in love with uh, her patient, otherwise known as the iconic Batman villain Joker. The film will reportedly be set within Arkham, where Fleck Finds, uh, winds up at the end of the original film. The feature, the feature musical elements, uh, and feature el musical elements. The latter part of the pick's title uh, translates to English in madness, to madness shared by two, presumably referring to the relationship between Fleck and Quinn. Um, I, I do want to talk about the plot. Just give me two seconds. Warner Brothers couldn't be reached for comment regarding Latte's casting while the specifics as to his part in the Joker film aren't uh, forthcoming. We hear that his role will be a big one. That's what she said. Um, as uh, was the case with the original Joker, Phillips will direct from a script written with Scott Silver. The film set apart from the DC Extended Universe is expected to go into production in December with an eye toward a theatrical release on October 4th, 2024. Set in the 80s, Gotham... The first Joker watched as the mentally troubled stand-up comedian, um, stand comedian Fleck <laughs> embarked on a downward spiral that led to the creation of an iconic villain. The film released in October 2019 grossed more than $1 billion worldwide and brought Phoenix his first Oscar with its composer uh, Hildur Gundurer becoming uh, just the third woman to, in history to claim the statuette for best original score. Uh, Latte is a British actor who plays the lead role in HBO's hit drama series, Industry, which last month came to the end of its second season. The actor will next be seen starring alongside Christian Bale in Scott Cooper's adaptation of Lois uh, Bayard novel, The Pale Blue Eye, which Netflix will release in limited theaters December 23rd prior to its streaming debut on January 6th. I will watch that just to see if this kid's good. Also coming up 
For Latte is Russell T. Davies produced series You and Me for ITV. And then, of course, who he's repped by. But we don't care about that, do we? All right. So I just want to say, again, I really wish I would have seen something that this kid was in. I say kid. I'm pretty sure I'm older than him. Um, Just so I could tell you if I like him as an actor. But I have nothing to base any opinion of his acting chops. So I don't want to speak to that. I do want to speak to the movie, though. Who could he be playing? Well. According to Scoopers, um, I'm mostly talking about uh, Grace Randolph. She said that the movie, I believe she tweeted it out, would be, or maybe she said in a live stream, I can't remember. She said that the the movie would um, take elements of, um, uh, it would be in the perspective of Harley Quinn. And that's why it's a musical, because it all takes place in her mind um, and I'm not quite sure. I'm not quite sure how to end up, but I do like Lady Gaga. She's pretty great. I mean, she's not the, my favorite actress on the planet, but I do like her um, so far. Uh, she's good in everything that she's been in. Uh, but we'll see how this turns out. I'm and how and and who this kid could be. I honestly don't know. I'm just going to assume he's playing like an orderly or whatnot. I don't think he's going to be any other batman villain but at the same time he could be um i mean maybe he's playing an older bruce wayne i don't think so because bruce wayne was pretty young in the first one and what was it like 10 so we'll see i'm not quite sure um you know i'll just say bruce wayne that's who he's playing that's my guess that's just gonna be my guess uh but i honestly don't know but we'll see tell me what do you guys think about all of this tell me how you feel about uh, Harry Latte uh, joining Joker 2, uh, Fale Adu. Um, you know, uh, have you seen him in that show industry? Do you like it? Do you not like it? Do you think he's a good actor? Do you think he's a bad actor? Do you think this was a good choice for the movie? Do you think I'm right in saying that he's Bruce Wayne? I don't know. That was just the, the only thing I can guess off the top of my head. But or and if you don't think he's Bruce Wayne, what character do you think he's going to play? All right, you guys, tell me what you guys think. Go ahead and leave all your comments in that section down below. If you like this video, go and hit that like button. I won't mind if you mention it. Please hit that subscribe button. I'd greatly appreciate it. And we'll see you guys. You guys have a good week. Bye.